Welcome back to Keep Teaching King the Truth. All praise and glory in the name of Yah. In the name of His Son, the Lord Yahweh Shai, we give thanks and praise to His name. Uh, we're going to be having a discussion today with Sister B. Sister B is joining us today. Praise Yah. Say hello, Sister B. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, yes, amen. Praise Yah. So, Sister B, we're going to be talking about um, uh, the oneness of 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 the father the oneness of god correct yes um so we have been encountering a lot of trinitarians lately and there's some of them that's been you know ducking and and hiding and shying away from um having a debate um so we're just going to continue to put this truth out sister b uh tell me why do you find it so important that this um, this false doctrine, the Trinity, uh, be exposed for what it is and, and the, the harm that it has caused. Okay, so I really feel that the doctrine should be exposed as heresy. It is causing a lot of confusion. There are a lot of people of other religions and other faiths that refuse to turn to Christianity because of uh, a lot of Christians, primarily the Trinitarians, believe in multiple gods. Um, and that is something that's a very big hindrance from people like um, Muslim people, people who are um, uh, uh, Jewish people, those type of people. They don't want to turn to Christianity because it is a great evil. It's a great heresy. For them to believe in multiple gods because their belief system believe in only one god right now since to be now the just so everybody's clear the the, the the doctrine of the trinity or the teaching of the trinity first and foremost it, it is a catholic doctrine we're going to be you know making a video very shortly giving the you know the evidence of this it, it is a catholic doctrine it originated from the Catholic Church, um, what do you what do you see, um, um, like how these Trinitarians react to uh, when you accuse them of believing in, in three gods? W what do you think about this? Where they say, "Oh no, no, no! It's not three gods. It's three persons we believe into." Th like that's their only justification. That's how they try to justify this madness. And, of course, there's nowhere in the Bible that says anything about uh, Yah being uh, three distinct persons. What, what do you think about that? Well, my beliefs about what the Trinitarians are saying, that um, the three persons make up one God. To me, it sounds a bit crazy because it's like you're making each God lesser by labeling that God as a person. Um, but then if you say that they are independently um, God alone, each one, each member is God all by himself, then that's three gods. Right. So, right. 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 you know, it's either it's one third, you know, of each member is one third of God. And when you add the three together, it makes up one God or it's polytheism where each person is fully God. Right. So if you look any way you, you, you put it, you know, it's when you narrow it down, it's basically heresy. And, 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 and the crazy thing is, is that the people of other faiths and other, other religions, especially the Muslims and the people in Judaism, they hear it as exactly that. There's, there's no fancy way you could dress it up you know, for it to come out anything other than three gods. It's like you said, okay, so it's like, okay, it's, it's either each three of them is fully God or each one of them is just one third of God and the three of them together make one whole God or they're just three separate distinct gods altogether. It, it, it's like that's the only conclusion you can come to. It is, it is, it's, it's pure madness. It's pure madness. And it's, 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 it's a doctrine of devils. 
I mean, to 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 just say to just you know, and, and it's like to me, most of the time they're just talking off the top of their head. It's their mouth. It's their it's their opinion. It's just their philosophy. Oh no, it's not three gods. It's three persons. Yeah, you know, do do they even understand what the definition of a person is? I mean, a person is. You look at the definition of person. It's an individual, a human being. That's the def, literal definition yeah. of person. It, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, all right, sister B, let, let's look at some scriptures here. All right. Now, this is a very well-known scripture, Deuteronomy 6.4, right? This is also called the Shemai, right? It says here, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay, so this is how it appears in the the King James Bible. This is what people yeah. are familiar with seeing, right? Mm -hmm. But what they don't, what most people don't realize is that this word Lord, especially when you see it in all capital letters, is used to hide the true name of the Father, which is Yahweh. Uh, when we look here at Deuteronomy 4, um, I'm sorry, supposed to be Deuteronomy 6 and 4. When we look at Deuteronomy 6 and 4, this is what it actually says in, in, in the Hebrew. This is what it literally says. We find here, it says here, see, this is why it's called, the, see this, this is why it's called the Shemai. Okay. This is the letter Sha, this is the letter Ma, and this is the letter Ayan. Mm -hmm. So that's Shemai, right? Um, so right here, where we would see Lord in our Bible, it's actually spelled out with the four letters that spell the Father's name. Yad Ha Waha Yahweh. They have it here as Yahweh because of these uh, vowel points, and you know we went through. We understand that we yeah. went through a whole teaching on that. Um, but this is what it literally says: Here, Hero Israel, Yahweh our God is one Yahweh. It didn't say he's three, did it? No. So. You know, but then the, the Trinitarians are saying, oh, no, well, you know, what do they have to, what do they have to say to that? They, I mean, there's really nothing they can say. I guess they just put a blind eye to it because that scripture doesn't fit the narrative that they're pushing forward. Exactly. Exactly. And I, and I, and I, and I made, I, I made a, um, forgot to put a scripture here. I want to pull up a scripture here. Right, look at this. Look at this scripture here. Right now, keep in mind. Right, this is what I was showing about. It says Yahweh. Right. Hold on. Now, it says here in Malachi one verse six. It says here, a son honors his father. And a servant his master. If I then be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? It says, Yahweh of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. And say ye, wherein have we despised thy name? Right? So, watch, let me show you in Hebrew. In Hebrew, Malachi 1 and 6. Right? It says here where it says we would where they have it in the in the King James is Lord of hosts. This is actually it. Yad Ha Waha, Yahweh. Yahweh of hosts. So Yahweh is saying he's the father. Yeah. You, you know you see this. Yeah. This is why we, we want to establish this right here. Yahweh is the father. This this word Lord the 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 Lord your God and the Lord of hosts uh, the Lord that healeth thee this this word Lord has been used to hide this the, the 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 name of the Father you see but this is showing you here it's identifying to you who the God of Israel is the God of Israel is the Father mm -hmm. 
it, would you agree with this? Yeah, absolutely agree. And Jesus, and what you'll see in the New Testament that Jesus will declare the Father to be the one true God. Right. Um, look at what the Apostle Paul says here. Look at 1 Corinthians 8, 6. Okay, yeah, so it says, But to us there is one God, the Father of whom all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. Mm -hmm. So, when you're reading that, it clearly shows you what it says here. But to us there is but one God, the Father. So, this is what Paul and the other apostles were teaching. Yeah. The, the, the disciples. This is what this is what we're supposed to believe in a nutshell. This is our doctrine. This is what we're supposed to believe. We're not supposed to believe in a a trinity of three separate persons. The Father is not the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father. But they're both God, but they're separate people. Is does do you, are you seeing anything like that? No, the there's no diagram like that on um, in that at all. And, um, yeah, we're supposed to start our belief and our understanding of the nature of God um, by understanding him as being one. Right. We start from there. Right. Okay, right. so we don't start from, you know, the baptism, what right. happened during the baptism, or what happened during the Council of Nicaea where a bunch of Gentile unbelievers decided to set up um, a way that people are supposed to understand the nature of God. We go to his word. We start off with understanding that he is one, and that's where that's where we start our understanding of him. Right, exactly. Amen. And, and so it's and it's telling us here. Watch, Paul here is saying again. Look at here again, Ephesians four six. Paul is saying here, one God, and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Yes. There, there's it, it's like it's like we were discussing. We have to stay within the boundaries that the scripture sets for us. Yeah. We can't go beyond what this says here. The scripture says here, it makes it very clear. Yahweh is the one God the Father. Yeah. There is no other God beside him. He is the one true God. Him and only him. Mm -hmm. There is no God the Son. There is a Son of God. There is no God the Holy Spirit. There is the Spirit of God. So, we, we can't go outside of this the boundaries and the parameters the scripture has set for us to go now believe in some type of pagan Roman Catholic philosophy about there being and three it, personas. And also, if you study the doctrine of the Trinity, um, you know, it's been revised multiple times. Right. You know, until yes. they got the doctrine that uh, the Trinitarians believe today. It's been changed so many times, right? You know, but the but God's word doesn't change. That word remains the same. It will never change, right? Um, so you know, it's it's a very scary thing. And also, the Trinitarians they put so much pressure on people to believe their doctrine. They'll tell you that if you don't believe in the doctrine of the Trinity, that you're not saved. They won't have fellowship with you. They won't acknowledge you as a believer in right. in Christ. Um, because you don't subscribe to that that doctrine, which is nowhere in the Bible, and you know they're gonna have to stand before God because of that, because the Lord said you should not add or take away anything from His Word. Exactly. And you're adding to His Word because the Word nowhere in the Word does it. Uh, the Bible does it say that there's a Trinity, and there's nowhere in the Bible that it describes a Trinity. Right. So, because uh, I know a lot of Trinitarians like to say. Yeah, the word Trinity is not in the Bible, but what we believe is described in the Bible. No, it's not described in the yeah, Bible because Jesus that said that the Father is the one true God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you have to start there. Right. Um, I, I, um, you know, Yahweh Shai said this. Yeah. And this is exactly the same thing that the apostles were saying. Yeah. The apostles were saying, you know, that the Father is the one true God. The Lord Yahweh Shai is saying, the Father is the one true God. Yeah. And I actually, I actually recently came to this understanding. So um, I was, you know, Trinitarian. And um, I actually just recently came to this understanding. So it hasn't been something that's been with me 
for a long time. Um, Brother Keith has understood this for a while, but I haven't come to this knowledge for a long time. I recently came to this knowledge. And um, yeah, it's important that you understand who God is, you know, so that you can build a relationship with him better. Um, I would not say that a person who believes in the doctrine of Trinity is not saved. Unlike them, they will say that we're not saved. Um, because they do believe that Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, died on the you know, died for our sins. They believe that. So I wouldn't say that they're not saved, but it is a, a lack of knowledge. But what they're doing is, is horrible. Oh yeah, they'll they'll be they'll be quick to say, to say you're a heretic yeah. and you're on your way to hell. What they're doing is is really, really bad by um by attacking the Godhead and by attacking the God the Father by saying that he's multiple persons. Mm -hmm. You know, so that is a, a, a attack of violence against the nature of God. So let's let's look at what the Lord Yahweh Shai has to say about this. Um because he is our leader, our teacher and our guide. He's our master and our Lord and it's from him we get our teachings. Uh, let's look at Mark chapter 12, uh, 28 to 34. And it says here, One of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? And Shai answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel. You see? He, notice what he says here. Yeah. He says, The, the first of all the commandments yeah. is hear, O Israel, Yahweh our God is one Yahweh. And I, is, mm -hmm. I think that he highlighted this because he knows everything. So he knows that in the future there'll be a trinity, there'll be um, religions out there that have that push um, polytheism. Right, and it wasn't anything new in his day. Yeah, either. it was. Yeah. So and there was a lot of polytheistic mindset and behavior that took place and you can read it all throughout the Old Testament mm -hmm. and he knew that things like that the, the heresy the great evil of um, saying that he's multi, you know that there's multiple persons in, a, in the Godhead he knew that that would happen and that's why he said um, that he said this is the one of this is one of the greatest commandments this is the greatest commandment to understand that there's one Lord there's one God one and only one. Well, only one. And, yeah, can you continue reading it? Yeah. And it says here, And thou shalt love the Lord, thou shalt love Yahweh thy God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said unto him, Well, master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. Now, notice how, you know, the Lord said a lot here. You know, he talked about, he first stated that, you know, Yahweh is one Yahweh, um, that the God of Israel, Yahweh, is one. One Yahweh, not three. He's one. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's, then he said, you know, you shall love him with all your heart and with all your soul. And it said, the second is like, namely this, you shall love your neighbors yourself. But the first thing the scribe, you know, perceived or as most important about everything he just said was this right here. He said, well, master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God and there is none other but he. Mm-hmm. So he was coming to the understanding of the oneness of God. There's only one God, and there is no no other but He. So it, you know that singular He. Right. Um. So can you continue and, reading? And, yeah. And and to love Him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love His neighbor as Himself is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Yahushai saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no man after that dare ask him any question. Yeah, so like the Lord is basically telling him, You are 
you're there, like you're almost there and fully understanding. Once you get that grasp and know that there's one God, um, you know, you're there. You're very close to eternal life. You're very close to right. to, 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 to understanding him. Right. So when you're saying he's three pe- three persons or three gods or three co-equal, you know, that's that's just blasphemy. That's heresy. It's heresy. It's blasphemy. That is um, an assault on God. That's an attack on God. And um, you guys need to repent. Amen. Amen. Now, 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 look. He says it here, very, very clearly and plainly, right? In John seventeen and verse three, uh, in this in this verse, the the Lord is praying to the Father, and He says, "And this is life eternal, that they might know You, the only, the only true God, mm-hmm. and Yahweh Shai, the Anointed One." Whom you have sent. Now he's he's praying to the Father. He's praying to the Father, yeah. and he calls the Father the one true God. And, and and you can see, that's what we've been, what we've seen here with just these few verses. Yeah. And there's so many many, more, many verses more verses that we could put together. Yeah. yeah. Like the, from the front to back, the Bible is saying this over and over again. The Father, but here again, it, it, but to us, there's but one God. The Father. The one God is the Father. One God and Father of all. So, you know, we, we, can't, we can't believe that... We can't believe the Scripture and be obedient to the Scripture and believe in one God the Father and then turn around and say, well, it's not just one God the Father. It's God the Son also. Yeah. And there's God the Holy Spirit also. And God the Holy Spirit is not God the Father, but He's God. Which I find that to be the most insulting and disrespectful part of that Trinity um, pyramid, um, which is calling the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit a separate person from God the Father. Yeah, might as well just say separate God. Yeah, they're saying that is separate absolutely God. disrespectful. It's, it's complete blasphemy. It's complete because blasphemy. Because, I, I mean, I can see the confusion because you see the dialogue between the Son and the Father throughout the New Testament, but it's extremely clear and evident that the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. Exactly. And to say that he's a separate person from the Father, according to the pyramid, the Holy Spirit is not the Father, it's not the Son, is it's disrespectful. And it's, 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 yeah. it's yeah, disrespectful is a light term to use. Yeah, w- yeah, where does that even come from to begin with? Where do you get this from? Because there's so, there's so many scriptures, so many scriptures where, you know, it will tell you that Christ dwells in you. It will tell you that the Father is in you. Right. So the, the, the Lord, the Lord, the Son Himself, um, saying that the, the the Spirit is the Spirit of the Father. Yes. So there is so many scriptures that you know that say that. There's no scripture that says that He's a separate person from the Father and the Son. So. I, I wanted to I wanted to throw in one more verse here that um, goes along with John seventeen three right and as a response to uh, these Trinitarians that were saying um, that you must believe like like I had a conversation with a Trinitarian recently who is supposed to he's been stalling and avoiding a debate that he uh, yes you can say the man's name I'll his do name, I'll do Mark Ryan his uh, name is Montana, um, Montana Viking. Viking yeah and I'm gonna oh I'm that's gonna, the name of the channel I think his name is Mark Ryan yeah yeah he 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 literally just you know will tell me oh you're not saved you're a heretic you know you're on your way to hell and this that and the other but you won't defend that blasphemous doctrine and when I questioned him on certain things he had no answer for me it's indefensible. Yeah, I mean, I, as a matter of fact, I, 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 I would love to, I'm open to debate and ready to debate any Trinitarian at any time. Yeah. Any time. Because I know that that doctrine is indefensible. Indefensible. There's no way that they can defend that. That, that false teaching can stand up to um, what the Holy Scriptures has to say. It's, it's not going to hold up. It's not going to hold up too, too long. It won't take long either. It won't take long either. I mean, if you believe so strongly in what you what you're saying is to be true, why don't you defend your doctrine? Exactly. Um, 
uh, Teaching Kenya the Truth has been reaching out to you multiple times, even came on your channel, and you're not willing to defend your doctrine. Exactly. You're not willing to defend what you believe in. But willing to condemn people for not believing yeah. his, so doctrine, you, his you're, false doctrine. You're not worthy to even condemn others if you're not willing to defend what you believe in. Exactly. You have no business doing that. So you shouldn't even be on your channel telling people that they're going to hell when you're not willing to defend what you believe in. Now, now watch now watch this. This is John chapter 5 uh, verse 24. Here the Lord is speaking. He says, "Verily, verily I say unto you, he that hears my word and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life." So the Lord himself here again is telling me that the Father is the one true God. The one who sent the Son is the Father. And we must be, he says here, you have to believe, you have to believe on the Father. You have to believe on the one that sent him. You have to believe that he is the one true God who sent him into the world as the Savior. Yeah. You, 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 we are not commanded or taught to believe in a trinity of gods, three separate personas and personalities. All this, this, this Catholic philosophy, this heresy. We're not taught to believe that at all. Um, but this, 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 this discussion here we had here, just from these short few scriptures that we brought up, you know, showed that, you know, the one true God is the Father. Um, next discussion, we can go and show how, you know, proof. Just with a few scriptures, doesn't take much. Yeah. Right? Exactly what we believe, and we believe what the Bible teaches. We yes. believe that there is only one God the Father. One God. His Word, His Holy Spirit. Yeah. We believe the Word of the Father was tabernacled and covered in flesh and walked among us and was revealed and manifested to us as the Son of God. Um, we, we, we believe that the Word is... The Word is the Father. We believe the Holy Spirit is the Father. We believe that the Son is the man, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, Christ Jesus. We believe that the flesh that formed, that, that flesh, that, that body that was formed, we believe that flesh and that body, um, that was that is the Son of God. That is the, the man, uh, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, Christ Jesus. Um, Let's look at this. Let me, let me just back that up with, with some scripture here, please, because I don't want to. Yeah. So, it's so important that we um, back up everything we say with scripture because we don't want to sound like we're just talking, uh, prophesying out of our own soul. We have to show exactly what the scriptures are saying. And it um, just and it always ties into us being monotheistic, believing in one God. Exactly. The, exactly. The, we're continuing with the same belief in the Old Testament and that's where we start in our belief Amen. and Jesus Christ Yahweh Shai is God and he's going to show you how he's God Amen. and and here here we have our brother Paul here again speaking right mm -hmm. and look what he says here in 1st Timothy 2 5 he says here for there is one God and one mediator between God and men the man Christ Jesus mm -hmm. the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai right so Again, Paul is saying there is one God. Yeah. That one God is the Father. The mediator between that one God and men is the man. Notice how he refers to him as the man. So where is the... Uh, what I would like to know is where is the Trinity there? Do you see the Trinity there? No. Not at all. Not at all. You see, and then they, they think that they, they think that they're defending the deity of Jesus Christ, you know, by saying... It's a trinity and saying, you know, there's God the Son. Because we have to believe that, you know, Jesus is God. That's what they believe. Okay. Yeah, we believe that he's God also. But why is he God? Why do we believe? When we say he's God, we know what we mean when we say yeah. that. We, we, know that, we know that the outward form of him, that physical body that he's in, that's not God. Who's in that body is God. Yes. He and he told us that himself. He said, "It's the Father who's in me who's doing the works." Paul said, 
God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. The Lord himself explained to us, it's the Father who's in me doing the works and who's speaking. Yes. I can do nothing of myself. It's the, yeah. it's the Father who is in that body. The word of the Father, the spirit of the Father yes. was in that body, working and giving that body life. That body, that outward form, that man, that outward man is the mediator, the savior of all mankind. So, yeah. And, and mm -hmm. then the other thing is that the Trinitarians, like, they love to say the Trinity happened during the baptism. Um, can you go to that scripture with the baptism? Uh, Matthew. Let me see if I can look for it too. Because in that, in during the baptism, Nothing shows me that that's a trinity. I mean, God is all powerful. He can be, you know, speaking from right. heaven, being baptized. He can do all of that at once. Right. You know, yeah, he, it's, 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 it's right here. It says here, um, and Yahweh Shai, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the spirit of, of God descending like a dove. And lighting upon him, and a, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, "This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased." So they'll look at this here and say, "Oh yes, here's all three of them at once. You have the spirit coming down from out of heaven, you have the son coming up out of the water, and you have the father speaking from heaven." Oh, that's three separate distinct yeah, but persons the scripture right didn't there. Say that. It, it doesn't. It doesn't say that it at do all. Doesn't say that, and that that was actually a sign for John the Baptist. Right. That was all that was. That was just a sign. Of who Christ was, that sign was shown, you know, for John the Baptist to understand better. But but you know it's crazy if they if they're gonna say, oh well, yeah, the Spirit was coming down, right, and the Spirit is not the Father, and it says the Father was in heaven speaking from heaven, but then later on, in other verses, the Lord is speaking and He says, it's the Father who's in me, who's in me that's doing the works. Yeah. So the Father was speaking from heaven and in him at the same time. Because he's God, he can do anything. Like like how like how do you how do you get three separate persons out of this? This is the go to the, scripture. This is their, this is basically one of their this is so sad that this is basically one of their foundational um, scriptures. Yeah. Verses that they'll use to prove this nonsense. Mm -hmm. It's so sad that you, you you'll go to this. Where where does this say this is um, two separate uh, three separate pe people here? It doesn't say this at all. No. Next time we got to deal with um, John one one um, the word. Yeah. So you want to wrap this up now? Okay. So you know we're very happy to have this discussion because it's much needed. I feel like um, people who do not subscribe to the Trinity they're under severe attack right now. Um, if you go on YouTube, they're being attacked, um, and they're being told that they're not even Christians, and it's important that, you know, you understand that God's word is the final authority, and, um, these people, they need to repent because they're not on God's side. Right. Amen. They're definitely not on God's side. Um, no, not spreading this, not spreading these lies. if there's anything, they're attacking him more than they're attacking us. Right. Right. It's, it's an attack on his nature. Amen. Amen. All right. Praise y'all. Thanks, Sister B, for the little chat. We gotta do this again. Um, I hope this helped anyone. If anybody has any uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I'm also gonna try to set up something on Zoom because I want to start reaching out to you folks and start interacting with you live, and um, we could take questions and have discussions. Um, you know, some of you have reached out to me through email and whatnot. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I try my best, you know, to answer all your questions. And, you know, if you leave me a phone number or whatnot, I'll call you. I'm, I'm here to serve. So I'm, I make myself available as, as available as possible. But I'm going to try to make myself a little bit more accessible. And, um, you know, um, hopefully we'll get more interactive and have some more conversations amen all right so grace and peace to you all
this teacher can improve. Hope you have a great night.